So here we are in book widgets, and the first thing that I want to do is to click on create new widget. And what we're going to do today is we're going to create an interactive whiteboard widget. To do so, I'm going to click on whiteboard. Here's our whiteboard dialog, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a world map that we can interact with both as a teacher and with our students. Under title or question, I'm going to type in world map. The next thing is we want a background image. In order to do so, I'm going to click on the plus. I can choose an image, import from Google Drive, or find an image online. I'm going to click this. I'm going to click on world map. And you can see it automatically searches for a number of great looking images. I'm going to choose this one right here. You'll notice that we have a few different options here. We can have this image automatically in the background or by clicking on this, it'll automatically put the image on top so we can do things with it. I'm going to leave this unchecked. We can also choose to not resize the image or cover the entire area, keeping the aspect ratio, or just contain an entire picture, but keeping the aspect ratio. I'm going to choose the second option. We have a lot of different options here, but what we're going to do today is we're going to drop all the way down to enable sharing. So I can have a sharing button. I'm also going to allow my students to download this. And even though we're not going to use this feature on a world map, I'm going to click on the calculator button so I can show you just how wonderful our whiteboard feature is. Notice I have a simple or a scientific calculator. I'm going to choose simple. Now, in order to check out what our book widget looks like, I'm going to come up to the top and click on preview. And here we are with our world map. Now, this is just like a whiteboard that you would have in your classroom. Down here, we have some different options. We, we can undo, we can redo, we can zoom in, zoom out. But here we are on our brush tool. I'm going to select this, select on brush, and you'll notice that I can draw anywhere on this whiteboard that I want. And so can my students. I can not only use it as a brush, I can even change the brush size. Or by clicking on this, I can change the color. If I wish to get rid of this and erase it, I can click on the trash can and clear the image. Notice up here, I've got the options that I selected previously. I can opt to have my calculator up. I can also share this by email with a little optional message. Additionally, these two buttons here allow me to download this map as an image or as a PDF. And finally, I can email this or delete it completely. If I'd like to do more to this design, I can click up here on the design tools and I can change just about every single thing about this book widget from the text to the font, even to the background color. Now, let's see if we can customize this just a little bit further. I'm going to first click on the X to get back into my edit menu. I'm going to click over here below where it says general into text. And here I can provide some text instructions. Now, when we hit preview, these directions are going to show up right here in the middle.